Greetings friends, in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The purpose of this video is to look at over 25 rewards God promises for Christian acts of service. And of course, these acts or works of service are done with love. The Bible's clear in Ephesians 2 verses 8 through 10 that we're saved by grace through faith. But Ephesians 2 10 clearly says we were created unto good works. And so these 25 plus works are acts of worship Jesus created us to perform by his grace and through the leadership of his Holy Spirit. Remember, Jesus tells us in Matthew 6, verses 20 and 21, to lay up for ourselves treasures in heaven. He says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Hebrews 6.10 tells us, God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And Galatians 6, verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I love this quote from Brother Branham from the Church Age book, chapter 4. Brother Branham says, All too little time is spent on laboring for the eternal rewards of God. Brother Branham says, We ought to lay up in heaven these good treasures. Let's listen to the quote. All too little time is spent on laboring for the eternal rewards of God. The recompense of God is too lightly esteemed. If we believe in the reality of the resurrection of the body and an eternal kingdom of substance, then we ought to lay up in heaven those good treasures that are available to the faithful saints. So now let's go through the list of acts that God rewards. And there is some overlap. That's why I said around 25, maybe a few more. But the first two are withstanding persecution and enduring temptation, according to Matthew 5, verse 12, and James 1, verse 12. The next is giving a cup of water in the name of Jesus or a disciple, found in Mark 9, 41, and Matthew 10, 42. Next is receiving a prophet or righteous man in Matthew 10, verse 41. Next is praying in secret, according to Matthew 6, verse 6. Next is giving alms in secret, Matthew 6, verse 4. The next two are planting and watering the gospel, found in 1 Corinthians 3, 8, and 9. Next is leaving family members and possessions for the sake of the Lord, found in Mark 10, 29, and 30. Next is fighting a good fight and keeping the faith, according to 2 Timothy 4, verses 7 and 8. Next is making a dinner for those who cannot repay you, according to Luke 14, verses 12 through 14. Next is visiting fatherless children and widows in their affliction, according to James 1, verse 27. And of course, this verse proves religion is a good word as long as the people that are performing the religious acts have pure hearts. The next act is serving God willingly, 1 Corinthians 9, verse 17. Next is God rewards any hearty service done to the Lord. Colossians 3, verses 24 and 25. The next reward is for diligently seeking God, according to Hebrews 11, verse 6. Fasting in secret is the next act that God honors and gives reward for, found in Matthew 6, verse 18. Matthew 25, verses 34 through 40, lists six more acts that get rewarded. It's providing food, providing drink, providing shelter, or providing clothes to a Christian, or visiting a Christian when he's sick or in prison. Then in Luke 6, verses 27 through 33, there's rewards for loving your enemies, blessing those who persecute you, praying for those who despitefully use you, and lending with no hope of repayment. Jesus says these all yield a great reward along with the title of being called the children of the highest. The next works that are rewarded are providing a Christian's physical necessities. So this is an overlap. And Paul says it yields a heavenly reward upon a giver's account, according to Galatians 6, verse 10, and Philippians 4, verses 15 through 18. And the last act of worship is a general overcoming of sin during any of the seven church ages. And then the Bible says, if you overcome in one church age, you inherit all the rewards of the other six church ages. And these rewards are eating the tree of life, escaping the second death, eating the hidden manna, a white stone with a new name within, 
Power to Rule Over Nations, The Morning Star, White Raiment, Having Your Name Remain in the Book of Life, Being a Pillar in the Temple of God, Having Jesus' New Name, Having God's New Name, and the New Jerusalem's Name Written Upon the Believer, and lastly, Sitting with Jesus in His Throne. In closing, friends, I hope this video was a blessing. One of the saints in the church really enjoyed this list when I preached it last Sunday. So I thought I would just share a short video about it, and hopefully it'll bless many more Christians by the grace of God. I'm reminded of the song, When the Roll's Called Up Yonder, I'll Be There. One of the verses says, Let us labor for the Master. From the dawn till setting sun, let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll's called up yonder, I'll be there. Friends, each one of us have a work to do on this earth, but all of these 25 plus acts of worship are available to each one of us. All of us have the equal opportunity to lay up treasures in heaven. And as I mentioned in the sermon, the fact that all these acts are equal opportunity acts of worship shows the fulfillment of the parable of the pounds in Luke chapter 19. In the parable, each servant was given an equal amount of money. And here all these acts are available to each and every person. It doesn't matter your age, your gender, or any other attribute. All of us can serve God willingly and store up treasures in heaven for the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember the Bible says in John 15 that the Father is glorified much when we bear much fruit. And of course, our motivation is our love for the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have any questions, concerns, or testimonies about this video, please contact me. God bless you. And may Jesus Christ be the desire of your heart.